Marcus Conti reporting, trying to make up for yesterday's video that I did on Camilla Harris. Spent the whole six minutes making a video about Camilla Harris dropping out of the 2020 campaign, and it got uh, blocked because I used joy to the world. God damn it. I used fucking, I played joy to the world, the Christian song. Sick. So I'll do it again. It's it's good because actually a day later, there's uh, I have fresher a fresher view of what happened. Hillary, uh, C- Camilla Harris was was a big, in my view, a big Democratic cock block. She was the corporate, uh, you know, the corporate uh, candidate. We'll look at some of the clips, and I want to show you the exact moment, the exact moment in the debate where Camilla Harris's, de- you know, career ended. Her presidential run ended in 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 two minutes that I'm going to show you. But first, Marcus Conti 2, right? So uh, apparently um, YouTube is going to do a purge. Now, this is just a just a warning. There's no, there's no threat on the table or anything like that. But on December 12, YouTube has declared that they are going to weed out some sites, you know. So I don't know. Maybe I always – with YouTube, I never feel comfortable. Every day I look, I say, oh, my – Oh shit! My videos are still up. I guess I'll make some videos, right? You never know, right? So, do me a favor. Hit Marcus Conti two. Uh, it's my backup channel. Go down the list, Marcus Conti two. Hit the uh, the D Live one, right? Because if I disappear, right, just subscribe now to Marcus Conti two. And if this channel goes down, at least that one will be up, and you'll know where to find me. I'll c- probably continue to make videos there, or. Move over to uh, D Live. Also, again, this is not a charity <laughs> event, right? Marcus Conti. Uh, this is what I do, right? There's no, uh, I, th- there's no, this channel is not monetized. Kindly make a Patreon, become a Patreon, or uh, make a one time contribution at uh, PayPal. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about the moment, the moment that Camilla Harris imploded, right here. Watch. Confronting Vice President Biden at the last debate, you called it a quote false accusation that Joe Biden is a racist. What's your response? I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system. So, so just, just as a, uh, a caveat, the question is asked, Anus Cooper asks uh, Tulsi Gabbard a direct question about Joe Biden, and she pivots. She pivots and takes, takes it to Camilla Harris. Excellent. Excellent the way she did that. But listen to what she says that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. As the- look, just look at the posture. First of all, look at the posture. That was the takedown. That moment, in that moment, Camilla Harris, her her front her front runner, she was a front runner, a top tier candidate, fizzled away. I mean, it's fun to watch, right? This is really what because the debates are so important for candidates like Tulsi Gabbard who don't have notoriety, or Camilla Harris who doesn't have notoriety, right? and that's that was the moment. The elected Attorney General of California, I did. The- She's doing the the. The side, the side of the head, black woman thing, right? It's, it's just what it is. The work of significantly reforming. And Vice she President even, Biden oops. at the last. Now, yeah. Senator I'm Harris sorry. says she, she and, blocked. And she ain't even black, right? Sorry about that. I blew the spot. First kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. I need a black lady. As the elected Attorney General of California, I did the work of 
significantly reforming the criminal justice system of a state of 40 million people, which became a national model for the work that needs to be done. And I am proud of that work. And I am proud of making, because I know that criminal justice Thank system you, is Senator. so broken, that I am an advocate for what Thank we you, need Senator. to do to not your, your only decriminalize, but legalize marijuana. And now the, now the follow-up watch. One in the United States. I want to, I want to bring uh, Congresswoman uh, Gabbard back in. You're responsible. The bottom line is, Senator Harris, when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives, you did not, and worse yet, in the case of those who were on death row, innocent people, you actually blocked evidence from being revealed that would have freed them until you were forced to do so. There is no excuse for that, and the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, oh, you owe them an apology. That was, that was the moment. That was the moment of, so far, the, in my view, the most exciting takedown, because it caused her to, it caused Camilla Harris to be seen as the, the fraud that she is. Now, Camilla Harris also took down Pete Buttigieg, and it's, it seemed to not have such a lasting effect, right, on, uh, on Pete Buttigieg. But Camilla Harris has dropped out of the race, so that was a profound moment. She's still in the polls. A new poll out today, December 4th. Uh, the Economist has Joe Biden 27, Sanders 13. That's, see, that's, that's to humiliate the Bernie Sanders supporters. See, you're being humiliated by a guy who can't put 100, guy, 100 people in a room, Joe Biden. Can't put 100 people in a room, and Bernie Sanders is filling up stadiums, and Joe Biden is winning. Do uh, you believe that shit? Uh, it's just fake polls, right? So let's look at, um, let's look at the report. This is, pretty, this is a good, pretty good job that uh, ABC did. To the race for the White House and that major shakeup, California Senator Kamala Harris announced she is dropping out. Harris had been considered a top contender for the Democratic nomination, but faded after a strong start. Lindsay Davis is here with more. And Lindsay, this caught a lot of people off guard. Yeah, a bit of a surprise announcement. And good morning to you, Michael. This is the same woman whose first campaign rally drew 20,000 attendees and early comparisons between her and Barack Obama. And now with Senator Kamala Harris out, several candidates are already vying for her supporters. Senator Kamala Harris, who sought to be the first black female president of the United States and one of only seven to qualify for the next Democratic debate, with that surprise announcement Tuesday that she's dropping out of the presidential race, calling it one of the hardest decisions of her life. So here's the deal, guys. Um, my campaign for president simply does not have the financial resources to continue. I'm not a billionaire. I can't fund my own campaign. Harris telling staffers that over the course of Thanksgiving weekend, she was working around the clock to try to figure out how they could make it work. But after doing a campaign audit, she says she just didn't have the money to move forward. I cannot tell you that I have a path forward if I don't believe I do. Weekend, a sign that the campaign was unraveling with this scathing resignation letter from a Harris aide obtained by the New York Times, where she wrote, I have never seen an organization treated staff so poorly, adding, I no longer have confidence in our campaign or its leadership. Harris's plateau in the polls was even joked about on SNL. I'm just gonna have fun and see if I can get some viral moments. <laughs> Mama needs a gif. <laughs> gonna tell my kids this was Michelle Obama. <laughs> but through it all, Harris and her team appeared to remain in good spirits. Tuesday night, her communications director tweeted this video showing the senator and her Baltimore staff laughing while doing the electric slide. She began the race with promise as a top-tier candidate, famously taking on Biden for his old opposition to federal busing to integrate public schools, but she was unable to maintain momentum from moments like this. You know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. See, that wasn't really the moment. The moment, I showed you the moment when, when Tulsi Gabbard put her down about the marijuana shit. That was the moment right there. Overnight, among the messages of support, her husband tweeted this photo with the caption, I've got you, as always. Last night, the Castro campaign said that following Harris's departure, they had their biggest fundraising day of the quarter. Also last night, a curt exchange after President Trump tweeted, too bad, we will miss you, Kamala, to which Harris responded, don't worry, Mr. President, I'll see you at your trial. Some fighting words there Trump on her departure. <laughs> Trump takes a dig, right? Trump takes a fucking dig at her. I'd say, see ya. So, Camilla Harris, shit sandwich, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. 
the last time we got a look at Camilla Harris, right? So the field is now who can possibly who could possibly be the Democratic nominee? All right now, it, it's it's clearly look the winner the the guy out in front is Bernie Sanders, right? The guy with the most people behind them, the most money is Bernie Sanders. Then there's there's uh, Elizabeth Warren, right? Those are the two progressive candidates in the race. There's Joe Biden. I don't believe the numbers when it comes to this Pete Buttigieg. I just don't believe it. I don't think he's. I, I think it's fake, right? So Harris is out. Um, could Camilla Harris? Could um, Tulsi Gabbard actually be a a uh, candidate, uh, a nominee, a nominee nominated for the nomination by the Democrats? Absolutely not, right? This is Bernie Sanders's moment, right? All the policies on the table are Bernie Sanders, right? That's it. It's single-payer universal, single-payer health care. It's college tuition free at city and state universities. It's get money out of politics. It's break up the banks. It's end the insurgency wars. That's what we're talking about, right? That's all stems from Bernie Sanders, right? So Camilla Harris is out. You'll probably see some jockeying for Camilla Harris's people. I don't believe they're going to run over to uh, Fidel Castro, whatever his name is, the fucking another shit sandwich. He can't even get on the stage and they're all running over to Castro? Come on. Uh, Cory Booker, he's the next one to fall. He's the next <clears throat> next uh, 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 schmuck to go down, I, I, I'll predict, right? So, uh, so I don't know. Marcus Conte reporting. Here's a little short video for you there. Marcus Conte reporting.